In this illustration, we are illustrating a nebulous to place over a product shot. Our product is a drill bit. We need to remove the background of this drill bit, clipping it out, and going to place it on a nice black background using a mask kind of fading the top. And now we begin to make our nebulous. What you need is a decent sized brush and just make a random kind of shape. I'm selecting it, contracting my selection and filling it with a lighter color. Just add interest. Now there's two main filters used on this. One is the wave filter under distort. Play with your filter, make sure that it gets a nice cool wave. And then you wanna go under edit and fade wave to 50%. And repeat this process until you get an image that you like. I added a motion blur and played around with the settings just for interest. It didn't give it that kind of cool smoky factor. And when you get something you like, stop. And you can make another one. Same process here. Two main filters are distort, wave, play around with your settings, and then fade wave under edit. And just keep on repeating this process. Maybe you can throw in a motion blur. Now, it is very important when you have your original graphic shape to make sure the outer edge is a dark color and the inner, inner area is a lighter version of the outer edge. This helps give it a real smoky effect and uh, gives the illusion of the smoke being more three-dimensional in wrapping in space. And this is again just wave and fade wave. At the end I'll add the blur so it becomes smoky. And just play around. Do you think it looks something cool? This I like parts and pieces but I'm not liking the whole thing. This is a little chunky so I can just remove it kind of stick the pieces I like together Here's a smudge, just tweaking it. Now that we've done a bunch of these, I can bring back my drill bit so I know where my point or center point of my nebulous is. And with all these created, just start moving them around until you find kind of a cool spot for them. Now at this point, this is all just up to the, the artist doing it. There is no rules or rhyme. You're just making a collage of the smoke patterns. So you're just trying to arrange it into a pleasing pattern. Now I think I like this, so I'm going to add a little flare to the middle. Hit it with the motion blur again. Brighten up the center. And the final ad. Thank you very much.